Hi guys, I've been on a mission. I've been searching for the best free and paid 3D car models on the internet, and I'm going to show you where they are now. If you're into making car renders and animations, then using a high quality model is essential for great results. A lot goes into making a really great 3D model. The mesh geometry, the materials and decals, Plus, you might also need a car interior and working doors for your animation. Here, I've put together my top five free resources for car models, plus two paid options if you want a bit more flexibility and ease of use. If you hang on to the end, I'll show you how I made this intro video with some of the models I found using Blender. Let's get started. <laughs> So our first stop is Gumroad. Gumroad's a really untapped resource for loads of great Blender content. Free tutorials, free models. Just a quick look down here, we've got, um, looks like a nice American muscle car model. This looks like it could be straight from the Fast and the Furious. Great police car from the 80s here. This is a nice fun one. This is a nice little cartoon car. This could be great for some stylized animations. This is a beautiful model here of the Mercedes C63. I've used this one before in one of my own animations. And there's a whole ton of little cartoon cars here. As this could be great for maybe some game development or some fun cartoon project you want to animate. And there's a whole pack here of generic passenger cars. Even if these aren't hero assets, they're great for filling up the background in some scenes. Number four. Turbo Squid is another great place for free resources. Unfortunately, there is a lot of kind of not so good um, models on here, but you kind of have to sort through them to find the gold in there. This is quite nice, sort of futuristic bike. This is a nice, quite low poly model of a, an army truck. Quite a nice model of an Audi A7 here. This is cool. This is a nice 350Z in that classic orange color. That's a beautiful car. Number three. So we're on to CG Trader now. Again, somewhere you can buy a lot of models, but they can also get them for free, got some classic American muscle car here. That's really nice. Wow, look at this Bugatti. That is a really insane model. Look at the detail on that. Carbon fiber and a beautiful interior as well. Wow. I can't believe they're giving this away for free. This is awesome. Number two. Sketchfab. This is a really great place for sort of much higher quality models. Um, some of these models are paid for. You'll see if they've got a little dollar sign in the corner. That means you have to pay for it. But all the ones with a download symbol, they're free to download. Let's just take a look at some of these. These are beautiful. Look at this. This is a really high quality model. Another classic Nissan. This is a lovely model of a Porsche here. Really high quality again. And the nice thing about Sketchfab is you kind of get this beautiful 3D viewer. So it's really easy to kind of have a good look around the car models. Something a bit unusual here, a bit of cyberpunk, um, a bit of an AMG Mercedes cyberpunk model going on there. A hover car. This is a sporty model. It's even got some animation. You can see the spoiler animates open here. This is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful cars ever made. The Alfa Romeo Stradale. I mean, if you took off some of these chrome parts here, this could be a supercar of today, couldn't it? But yet nearly 60 years old, unbelievable. Plus some beautiful sports cars on here as well. Here's a McLaren F1, got all the livery on, and the decals on the side looks really nice. Number one. And finally, we've got Blender Kit. This is the best free add-on for Blender out there. It comes with tons and tons of free stuff, free models, free materials, free HDRIs. It really is the go-to place for any Blender project. I use this in virtually every project. And as you've guessed, it comes with tons of free car stuff as well. So the transport category has lots of stuff over here and it's all actually split up into different segments. Uh, but if we're just looking for free stuff, um, we've got the a beautiful model of the Lamborghini here. This looks great. I really love this Ferrari. I've used this in some of my animations in the past. It's all liveried up. It looks absolutely fantastic. Great model of the Audi R8 Sport here. This looks really good as well. Classic Volvo here. This is beautiful again. Another Lamborghini here, this time the Aventador. That's a stunning car. Even the Tesla Roadster that's never made an appearance yet on the road. Oh, look at this BMW 507. That is gorgeous. All of these cars are free for you to download and use in your own projects. Moving on to paid solutions, there's two big ones. The first one is Traffic by Polygon Eek. 
These cars are all made in Blender, ready to go in Blender for Blender. They're all pre-rigged to the ready to animate straight away. And there's a few custom things like you can actually add wear and tear to the car. So you didn't have to be a shiny, pristine car. They've also included some street furniture. There's a selection of emergency vehicles. And I think they've got 100 vehicles in the library now. A pretty impressive collection. The other big player in the premium vehicles category is the transportation add-on by B Production. This collection contains 78 different vehicles from SUVs and cars, motorbikes and leisure vehicles, planes and public transport, to different types of cars and sports cars. All of these models are ready rigged so they're ready to animate and you can customise the car paint to suit your vehicle. It also comes with a selection of ready made back plates so you can get a really nice render straight out of the box. I'm going to talk you through now how I made the introduction video. We're first starting off in a free program called FSpy and here you can see me aligning the markers to get the perspective match of the video. You can move this floor gizmo around to check the perspectives correct. Then we use the FSpy import project add-on in Blender and this allows us basically to open up our FSpy project straight into Blender. There's automatically a camera in the correct position to match the perspective of the video that I, I filmed earlier. So by adding an object to this video, we can see that the perspective and everything matches the desk. I'm just scaling the cube here to make a base for the hologram projector. Hopping over into Blender Kit next, I did a search for hologram and this lovely hologram generator made with geometry nodes pops up. Unfortunately, this isn't free. This is part of the paid uh, Blender Kit add-on. I then imported this into my Blender project. Here you can see the default is uh, the Suzanne Monkey in Blender. We're going to swap that out for a car in a, in a minute. This is the Porsche model I've downloaded off Sketchfab. Uh, I'm just going to add some uh, metallic to it and take the roughness down to give it a slightly shiny finish. And I've got rid of all the other materials and just left it with one material. Then in Blender, we can use this as the source for our hologram emission. We can actually alter the color of the lasers to match the scene better. Now it's just a case of making sure everything's in the right place. I'm just going to edit the compositing node tree a little bit, just to add a touch of glare. This makes the uh, hologram just pop a little bit off the screen. If you look just under the film uh, tab, you can see I've selected transparent, so this render will render with a transparent background. This enables me to later uh, composite this in Final Cut Pro, which is my software of choice. Thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.